Good evening everyone. A very warm welcome to today's EBS class. In the last class we started chapter 17 air and water and we studied about air. In today's class we are going to study about water. We'll discuss properties of water, different forms of water, its uses and sources of water. Before we begin let me tell you that our planet earth is also known as a blue planet because 71% of the earth's surface is covered with water. Water is present in ponds, lakes, rivers, wells, sea and oceans. Rain is the main source of water on earth. Properties of water Water is tasteless. It has no taste of its own. If we add sugar to it, it will taste sweet. If we add salt to it, it will taste salty. It has no taste of its own. It is tasteless. It is colorless. It has no smell. It has no shape. It takes the shape of the container. To whichever container we will add water, it will take the shape of the container. Different forms of water. Water exists in three different forms. Ice, water, water vapor. How water changes into ice? When we keep water in the freezer, after some time, the water will change into ice. This is called freezing of water. And when we place water on fire, Water starts boiling. Water changes into steam or water vapor on boiling. The three different forms of water are ice, water, water vapor. Let us now discuss uses of water. Water is used for drinking, bathing, cooking, washing, cleaning, growing plants, etc. All living beings need water to survive. Plants, animals, birds, human beings, all living beings need water for their survival. Salt is made from ocean water. Ocean water is salty. It cannot be used for drinking purposes. Salt is made from it. We will now discuss sources of water. Rain is the main source of water on the earth. Rainwater gets collected in the rivers, stream, lakes and ponds. The sources of our drinking water are rivers and streams. But before we drink this water is cleaned. Then we get it from taps at our homes. Our drinking water sources are hand pump, well, stream, tap. Children, I hope that all of you have understood that water is very important for our survival. We have to save water. Every drop counts. Reduce your use. How can we reduce our use? Here are two ways. Close the tap when you brush. Use a bucket when you bath. Repair the tap when it leaks. Turn off taps while washing clothes. Use a bucket when you clean vehicles. These are a few ways by which you, we can reduce the use of water. Children, that is all in the chapter air and water. Now, we know that air and water are our lifelines and it is our responsibility to keep the air clean and to save water. With this, I'll end today's class. Goodbye. Take care. Thank you.